Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very happy to announce the second early access version of Quantum Vitas V0.2.0. Before everything, I would like to thank you all, my friends in YouTube. It is your support that motivates me to make this software, and I sincerely hope that this could help you in some way. Since last release of Quantum Vitas, I have received many comments and suggestions, and I try to implement many of them. In case you want some feature but it has not yet been implemented in this version, most probably it is on my to-do list, but you are very welcome to remind me of that. Yeah. Okay, so the download page is still the same, the official website and download. Now the links are all updated, so it will direct you to the most recent version. For the detailed description of the feature list, you could go to the GitHub page here and v0.2.0 this is the new version i have implemented uh, many calculations for example the phonon calculation which the most people wanted since last release and then also neb calculation for the energy barrier spin polarized band structure calculation i also add hybrid functionals and as well as find the vars corrections also, I implemented some suggestions that I got, for example, to shift the Fermi energy to zero, and I also tried to uh, uh, fix some bugs. Yeah. Okay, so now I would like to actually show you the new features of Quantum Vitas. So everything is basically very similar. For example, we could open the uh, silicon calculation. There are three phonon calculations. So here, this is the phonon calculation on a Q grid. Basically, calculate density of state on a uniform Q grid. What you can also do is to do calculation on the gamma point. And on the gamma point, you could calculate the Raman and also dielectric constant. For example, here, this is the output. It can give you the dielectric constant tensor here. The third thing that the phonon calculation could do is to calculate the dispersion relation. So here we specify some k point and then calculate the phonon dispersion on this k point. And you see that this is the phonon band structure of silicon. And then the second feature is actually this one. So this is the NH3 molecule. Yeah. And there is this so called umbrella transition. Either it faces upwards like this or it faces downwards. Those two has the same energy. But the transition between those two, there is an energy barrier. To calculate the energy barrier, we could use this uh, NEB calculation, which is the Nudget Elastic Band calculation. And here I have already done the calculation. This is the energy barrier from one state to another state. And the energy is actually around 0 0.25 electron volt. Yeah. The third thing would be the spin polarized band structure calculation. So now we could add magnetism here, and then in the bands calculation, it will automatically calculate the bands for spin up and spin down and save in separate files. Uh, probably we can zoom in actually. So deselect the auto mode, and then let's say from minus 10 to 25, and then we could compare it. And now you can see clearly there is a, a rigid shift of the band, which uh, indicates the ferromagnetism of iron crystal. So this is also a new feature here that you could zoom in or change the range of the plot. Here by default, the Fermi level is shifted to zero energy, but you could also deselect that and this would be the total energy. Okay. If you don't see any curve inside, probably it is because it is out of range, and then you could press auto to shift everything back. And then another major new feature is that you now you could use parallelization. So here you could turn on the parallelization, and then you could either use MPI run or open MP. On my computer, there are six cores and 12 threads. So either MPI run six and start a job, or I could, uh, let's say, MPI run one, but uh, open MP six. You should test which is the best choice for your computer. Usually I would use 1.6 and 6 is the core number of your computer. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. As usual, I welcome your suggestions and just leave a comment below or write to me in case there is a bug or you want to implement some feature in Quantum Vitas. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.